Are you looking for a debuffing support that has the entire kit, that literally does it all? That can take an enemy's defenses and leave them with a fragment of what they once had? Are you looking for a debuffing support that deals so much damage it's ridiculous? Well, you come to the right place. Today we're gonna take a closer look at Pela. And for me personally, she's one of the most interesting characters in this game as of now. I use her in my personal team and I think she is absolutely busted. Like the, the things she can do and the potential for like team building around her is absolutely insane. I love her and I hope after this video you will too. So come along. Hello everybody. My name is Hako and today I wanted to talk about our favorite secretarial officer of the Silverman Guards. Namely, Pela. Now this unit is absolutely amazing. And I don't I don't hear enough people talking about her. And perhaps I can change that. So, let me show you exactly what this goddamn little powerhouse can do. Come with me. We are at the simulated universe and we have an unknowing enemy right up ahead. He has no idea what's about to hit him. Let's go up. Let's engage the combat by using Pela's skill, her E. Boom. Then we want to use our ult right away. Now let's take a closer look at the enemies. <laughs> like, this is insane. So, ensnarement is the light cooler we're using. We're gonna go into that in just a little bit. Exposed is the status that uh, Pela's alt ultimate sets on people. And then minus 20% death reduction is uh, her talent. When you initiate combat with her skill, this happens. So if we add all of these together, 12 plus 35 plus 20, we end up with minus 67% defense. We let the enemy keep a third of their defense. Like, like this is before the combat even starts. This is before the combat even starts. And like now it's just it's just an open field day for any other DPS in the team. Let's use uh, uh CLC on this one. Well he didn't die. But he could have. Alright, so let me show you a full combat with Pena. We have this card up here. Once again, we initiate combat starting with E. We're gonna apply weakness to all of them. Let's have... That's ultimate, and then we just check the entire enemy team. So, this person for example, he didn't get hit with the defense decrease from her light cone. <coughs> With more effect hit charms, uh, like, then people will always be hit by it. Right now I'm lacking a bit in it, uh, which this game is very new and I haven't been able to invest properly in her and ha been lucky enough to get the stuff she really needs. Look at this guy for example, he is <clears throat> weak to frost, so he's also frozen, he has minus 67% defense. Same, this guy not not frozen, but... Minus 67, minus 67. But this guy avoided one of the minus defenses. And with <coughs> some more effective chance, you can avoid him with that. So now we know these guys basically have no defense whatsoever. We're just gonna attack him like that. We're gonna ultimate. We're gonna ho can we kill him? We can kill him with this. Yeah, we can. And since it's sailor, we get another turn. It's like I used to say, <laughs> this, or it's like I like to say, this game isn't turn-based if you have Sela. If you have Sela, then it's Sela based The way I use uh, Pela is like more of an enabler. I use her in a term that she enables my Sela to do more damage by <laughs> letting an enemy keep a third of their defense, sailors chance of actually killing them. Like, 
skyrockets, absolutely skyrockets. And like I said during the fight, Sele gets another turn uh, if she kills someone on her turn. So being able to kill somebody is very, very effective. And as far as I, <laughs> as far as I know, and as far as I've seen, no one does a better job of this than Pela. All right, let's go into her artifacts and stuff. All right, let's begin by having a look at her eidolons. So I just gotta say this before we start: that none of her eidolons is required to play her. She unlocks a bit more damage potential, like uh, the potential to be the main focus of your team with eidolons. But she works perfectly fine without them. None of them are necessary. The first one we have is Victory Report. When Pela defeats an enemy, Pela regenerates five energy. Uh, like. It's good. It's decent. Um, it's one of those idols that increases in value depending on how you use her. Me, for example, that runs her in a team with Sela, I don't want Pela taking the last hits necessarily. I want uh, Sela to be able to do that. So I don't get that much use out of this because I, yeah, Pe my Pela doesn't usually kill people, or but well, sometimes she does because her ult hits like a goddamn nuclear bomb. But yeah, it's decent. The second one, Adamant Charge. Using skill to remove buffs increases speed by 10% for two turns. It's good. It's fairly good. Um, increases the chance that you will act before the enemy and will be, will be able to like debuff them before they have a chance to act. It's good. Third one, increases skill and increases basic attack. Also decent. Also decent. Once again, not necessary. Number four, when using a skill, there's a 10% base chance to re reduce the target's enemy ice resistance by 12% for two turns. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like, uh, the thing she does best is reduce enemy's defense, as it is. Uh, this makes it so that she her herself will hit even more because she, she does ice damage. It's one of those items that increases in value if you have more ice characters on your team. Like, if you have Geppard, uh, for example, or Jan King or march they will do more damage if they have if the enemies have less ice resistance five uh, i guess i would say that this might be one of the more important ones like or like it's, it's not important but it gives you the, like the biggest boost to her it level ups your ulti ultimate by two levels and talent talent up by two levels so her talent and her alt are her biggest defense relish. Like this one is obviously really, really good. So the sixth and the last one. When Pela attacks a debuffed enemy, she deals additional ice damage to equal to 40% of Pela's attack to the enemy. This paired with certain light cones can give her like an insane amount of boost to a debuffed enemy. And if you want to run her in a de debuff team uh, as a main DPS, like, holy hell, she will hit like a goddamn five star if you have this. But the way I'm, I'm using her, yeah, my Pela deals a bit more damage, but I use her for the armor shred. It, it, it's a nice bonus, once again. Not, in, not really needed. But overall, she has a beautiful idol on tree. Like, every single extra idol on does something no one is useless but no one is like necessarily needed either let's move on to relics so since i've touched upon uh, or as i've touched upon she does she deals a ridiculous amount of damage for like everything else she does like i said in opening pela does everything she deals so much damage so i like to run hunter of the glacial forest on her increases ice damage by 10 percent and after the wear wearers uses their ultimate, their crit damage increases by 25% for two turns. I believe that this is active, like, once you click the button, like, her ult will get the benefit of this. I could be wrong, more testing is needed. But I, I believe that that is how it works. Uh, other than that, I would perhaps recommend a Thief of the Shooting Meteor. In, uh, because Pela deals a lot of damage and if you have uh, a lot of break effect stuff on her she will also break enemies that are weak to frost and enemies weak to frost that are broken by frost they get frozen 
So on top of having all of their defense taken, they also can't act because they're frozen. Obviously, really, really good. As for her like planner sphere, I would go with Pla Pan Galactic Commercial Enterprise. Increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 10%. Meanwhile, the wearer's attack increases by an amount that is equal to 25% of the current effect hit rate up to a maximum of 25%. It's a little bit nice extra. Um, effect hit rate is very nice. It increases your chance to, to actually apply the defense decrease on the enemies. Uh, some bosses and harder enemies have a lot of effect resistance. So if you want to consistently get uh, damage on or your debuffs onto them, you need to have some effect, effect hit rate. And for the planet sphere, since she deals so much damage, uh, I would recommend going with ice damage boost. So this is basically the goblet from Genshin. This is the one where you can get uh, a boost to certain elemental damages. Uh, really, really good. Um, as for the link rope, you can get energy regeneration rate as a main stat on this, um, which is not bad. Like I have one here with effect hit rate on. Uh, I haven't upgraded it yet because yeah, we're, I think we're all a little bit starved on resources at, at the current stage. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will upgrade it and get it even more. Her absolute biggest defense thread is her ultimate. And being able to have her ultimate up even more time is always good. I would say energy, energy regeneration rate, effect hit rate, crit rate and crit damage are like your four main stats in that order. Like going damage with her is not wrong at all. She deals so much. Um, yeah, I reckon that is it regarding regarding artifacts. Let's move. Over, let's move over to light cones. So the one I personally use on her is once again I use her more as a debuffer for my team. Than damage, even though she did a billion ton of damage. I use Resolution Shines as Pearls of Sweat. When the wearer hits an enemy, and if the enemy is not already ensnared, then there is a 60% base chance to ensnare the hit, hit enemy, and ensnared enemy's defense decreases by 12% for one turn. Um, this one is really, really good, since she, all, she on her own, with only her talents, uh, takes away more than half of the enemies, like adding in 12% on that is just like adding insult to injury, but I like it. Uh, there are some more like real viable option on her. Another one would be good night and sleep well. For every debuff the target enemy has, the damage dealt by the wearer increases by 15%, stacking up to three times. This effect also applies to dots. So if you want to go more the da damage route, the damage pela, I would say this one is better. I am considering switching this one up. One thing to keep in mind, effect hit rate is important on Pela, and it's even more important, I'd say, if you're gonna run Resolution Chances Pearls of Sweat. Because the ensnared base chance is 60. Usually a debuff is 100. It, it's quite a low percentage, so you need to manually get that little sucker up a bit. Uh, speaking of effect hit rate, Ice of Prey, uh, the, the light cone that has Sampo, as a picture, also really good. Increases the wearer's effect, effect uh, hit rate by 20% and increases dot by 24%. It's decent, it's, de it's decent. Uh, so, debuff Pela, resolution. Damage Pela, good night and sleep well. If you feel like you want to do more dot damage and have more effect hit rate, um, then go with Eyes of Prey. If you are... Um, if you haven't been like lucky enough to get any of these yet, uh, don't worry, like they will come. But I would perhaps um, go for this three star, the void. You will be able to superimpose this uh, to like five stars very fast. Uh, I've used all of mine as uh, as fodder to power up my four stars, so I, could, I don't have anybody in game to show you, but this. These drops like candy from a piñata. You will have. You are probably sitting with like twenty of them in your bag watching this. But be be careful. It's, it's it is a three star weapon. 
it's it's a really good one. Uh, at the beginning of the battle, increase the wearer's effect hit rate by forty percent for three turns at superimpose five. This effect is really really good, but it's a three star. So like the base stats, the HP, attack, and defense will be lower than a four star, and definitely than a five star. So like be careful how much you invest into it, but in it it is a very good placeholder until you get one of the four stars. Uh, I even believe that the light cone you get from the nameless honor kind of serves you well. Let's see, nihility. After the wearer's use a basic attack or skill, deals additional damage equal to 48% of the wearer's attack to a random enemy that has been attacked. Super good. Super good. Like, this is also good. I would probably put it behind the other 4 star artifacts. Uh, or sorry, light cones. But it's still good. It's still good. It's a viable option. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. And finally, let's look at what she actually does. So, since I recorded the the first part of this video, I've actually leveled up a little bit and I've gotten her from 50 to 60. And that's when I also noticed that, hey, holy shit, uh, the exposed status that she applies with her ult. So, her ult is a big chunk of damage on the entire enemy team. 90% uh, of, of Pela's attack to all enemies with a 100% base chance to inflict exposed on all enemies. When exposed, enemy's death is reduced by 37% for two turns. This was 35 when I began, began to record the video. So like this, this just keeps on increasing. So I'm guessing it plans out at 40, I would assume. Uh, so yeah. At the end of the day, we're gonna take away more than 30%, or sorry, more than two thirds of an enemy's defense, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, her technique immediately attacks the enemy upon entering battle. Piala deals ice damage equal to 80% of her attack to a random enemy with a 100% base chance of lowering the defense of all enemies by 20% for two turns. This is why we want to initiate a combat with her E. And you, you see my team, I'm running with two four stars, no sorry, two five stars, and two four stars. Almost every combat I initiate with PLA, because like this is so, so good. Her skill, quite simple, uh, removes one buff and deals ice damage equal to right now 157% of PLA's attack to a single enemy. So not only does it deal quite a lot of uh, frost damage, it also like removes a buff from the enemy, which is really good. Not a lot of uh, abilities do that. And a ta her talent, if an enemy is debuffed after Pela's attack, Pela will restore 7.5 extra energy. This effect can only be triggered one time per attack. Really, really good. And the amount of energy increases per level. And their basic attack is just, just a shot of ice. And bonus ability, deal 20% more damage to debuffed enemies. So, yeah, you, you're probably probably starting to see like a pattern in <laughs> what her kit is. She likes to hit debuffed enemies. She likes to kick them while, while they're down. Uh, and last one, bonus ability. Using skill to remove buffs increases the damage of the next attack by 20%. So, for example, if you use the skill, you steal... Uh, uh, you remove an enemy's buff. Then your alt, if you alt directly after that, that alt will have 20% increased damage. And also, sorry, a bonus ability when PLA is on the battlefield, all allies effect hit rate increases by 10%. Like having her on a deep... Like having her on any sort of team... It's just insane because she just eats defense and she also increases your effect hit rate on all of your characters and she removes enemies buffs and she deals a ton of damage like she is busted is like she should almost be a five star in my opinion and as for teams um you, you you've seen what i use her in i use her as an enabler uh, she lowers the defense so that Sailor in particular can do a bunch of damage on pips. Uh, preferably I would change out Asta for Bronia, but uh, I haven't been that lucky yet. Like if you wanted to use Pela as a main DPS, like go ahead. Uh, team would probably look something like this with the last spot being filled by either Yang King or uh, Gepard. 
uh, like she fits in every team. Like I had, I had literally such a hard time like putting this together because like you can slot her into any team at like either as like just pure damage or as like a real debuffer, and she just works. Like she will grace that team by her presence, and she will like make it so much better. Like. Give her a go. She doesn't need that much investment to like to shine. She shines more with more investment, but just give her a little bit of love and like she she will give so much back. Like she's amazing. She is busted. If if you have her um as some idolons where she also reduces enemies ice resistance on top of the 70% she already like takes off, it's like Boy, like slaughter in with Young King, slaughter in with Gephardt, slaughter in with basically anybody. And she will just like outshine the five stars. Like, she is amazing. She is amazing. But I could sit there rambling on for a long ass time about her. I, I will try not to do that. This is my first ever guide. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I just felt like not enough people were talking about Pela and they should because she is so gosh damn good. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you want to catch me live, I'm streaming every day on Twitch. I'm probably streaming Honkai right now. The link will be in the description. Come by and say hi. If you have any feedback, like please give it to me. Good or bad. I want to improve and I don't want to waste anybody's time. Until next time, people. You take care. Thank you so much for watching. Hock out. <laughs> Yeah.